See, the thing about losing your belly fat is that the problem is not that you can't lose belly fat. The problem is that you can't keep it off. And that is what I'm going to explain in this video. But first, drop my intro. Welcome back to another video. I am the official fit queen, also known as Jahari Dunn. You can follow me on Instagram. I'll drop it right here because that is where I usually am and where you can find more information. Please subscribe to this YouTube video if you found that it has been helpful for you. But we're gonna go ahead and of course, like every other video, get right into it. And I really wanna preface this by saying that I have coached many women. I used to be a personal trainer, so I have a lot of experience helping women specifically with slimming their waist and losing belly fat. So this is like one of the biggest topics that I get from people and one of the biggest pain point points, concerns, slim waist season, flat tummy season, you know, it's always something that's going to be relevant. So one first thing that I will say, one of the most important things that you may have heard before when wanting to lose belly fat is you must think more about fat loss than weight loss. And this is because if you have heard you must be in a calorie deficit to lose belly fat or any fat, that is true. But sometimes if you're in a calorie deficit, meaning you're consuming less calories than you are expending in exercise or in general, yes, you may, you may lose weight, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the fat is gonna come off. And this is usually where the term skinny fat may come from, where you're losing weight and seeing the numbers go down, but like that pudge, fupa, will not go away. It's because you're probably doing too much cardio, not focusing on strength training to actually build muscle. And so when you're doing th too much cardio, you may actually be cutting into the muscle that you're, you're, um, you're building. And I'm not gonna explain that in the last, one of the last points, but my point is focus more on fat loss rather than weight loss, meaning yes, you should be in a calorie deficit, but it's more about the type of foods that you consume and not necessarily always about how much of the calories that you're consuming. So higher protein, making sure that the food that you are eating is whole foods, nutrient dense foods that are going to actually fill your body and not empty calories like processed foods, fried foods, um, anything usually with a lot of sodium, sugar, those foods are really not gonna do anything for you to aid in fat loss or losing your belly fat. A lot of times, sodium, water weight is gonna sit there because you're not actually putting foods that are gonna cleanse your body. Number two is going to be what you're drinking. A lot of times, you can actually be drinking your calories, and if you didn't know this, if you're a Starbucks drinker, talking about you. I've had so many clients that have told me, okay, I stopped drinking Starbucks or just went from a grande to a tall, and like immediately saw weight loss or immediately saw their um, waist slim down because there's so much sugar and you're consuming so many extra added calories that you don't really know about. Like there's this one drink, it's seasonal and it, it's called the, um, I don't know, like the warm apple crisp oat milk macchiato. It sounds so good and it is good, but I looked at the calories and I'm not a huge calorie person, but you just would not imagine what is in the stuff that we're drinking. And if you could just minimize it a little bit, and cut it out a little bit, I'm not saying all together, you would be surprised at the results that you will see and how much better you'll feel. Instead of drinking things like that and soda, what I typically drink in the morning, straight away, a warm cup of lemon and water to kickstart your digestion and aid in a, um, a faster metabolism. I also do green tea maybe at the nighttime. I will do a shot of apple cider vinegar in the morning as well. I have my greens powder, so this is greens powder for nutrients because I don't often get all of the greens that I should be eating in the day. And then lastly, I do EHP Labs Oxy Shred, which I swear by because it has just kept me snatched in the finest fashion. So I'll put all of those in the bio so that you can shop and get them and start your journey too. Also, I just wanted to put in here that the things that I'm telling you are things that I have learned from experience, things that I have researched, but Everything is going to be dependent upon your body and your size and so and also your your stage or phase in your fitness journey So just keep that in mind But I'm pretty sure that if, if you incorporate at least one of these you'll see a change So the next way that you can lose belly fat and lose it for good is going to be Can you spot reduce in the first place? Like, Is it even possible to just lose fat in your stomach or does it go everywhere? Like are you gonna lose your butt too? 
let me answer this for you. Depending on how rigorously you cut your calories will determine how fast you may lose areas of fat. So I do believe that to a certain degree you can spot reduce and lose fat specifically in your stomach because I have done it and I've helped other people do it. But you have to be very clear and very specific about the foods that you're eating and making sure that your workouts are aligning with that. And what I mean by workouts aligning is that you have to be doing the correct exercises to continue to lose the belly fat, but also to not get yourself in a plateau or to lose your curves. Like who wants to lose the booty gains? So the, one of the last um, ways to lose belly fat, I will say, is exercise and the correct exercises. And what I mean by that is doing HIIT exercises and the correct core exercises and workouts. So when you're doing HIIT cardio, it's high intense interval training. I have a video, a really old one, of an example of high intense interval training, so I'll just keep it at that. And then also making sure that you're doing workouts that are gonna slim your core and work your core and your waist and not doing, do not do weighted abs if you're wanting to slim your waist because when you're incorporating weights and adding weight, that typically is going to give you more muscle and you don't necessarily want more muscle in your stomach. It'll be bulkier. You want it smaller. You want it slim. So cut out the weight for your abs and just do exercises to where you're twisting, like Russian twists, instead of going down and up and doing exercises like here. Like I see people doing the side bends with muscle, like with weights. Don't do those, sis. Anything where you're turning, like a cable twist will work as well. If you're on the ground and you're doing uh, machine, I mean, you're doing windshield wipers, I'll create another video for that. But yes, make sure you're doing the right exercises so that you can keep your waist small as a tack, thumbtack, and I mean, invisible, damn near. Um, yeah, the last one I will say is, to be honest with yourself, you cannot sustain these quick fixes anymore, these detox teas, like all of these fat diets are only going to go a certain extent and go so far. Um, if you're doing something really fast, like not eating um, for your birthday or, you know, you have a vacation coming up or a wedding and, you know, whatever the case may be, yeah, you may get those results. But if you really want to keep those and be happy and still eat the foods that you like, I highly recommend using some of these suggestions and also just realizing that, girl, you got to love yourself like where you are now. Your body does so many amazing things and you're so much more beautiful than the standards that society places on you. You don't have to have the smallest waist ever and the biggest butt ever just because society deems that as beautiful. You are beautiful now. Love yourself now. And understand that, you know, you can have anybody that you anybody that you would want, you either work for it or maybe go get your body done. But at the end of the day, it comes down to how you feel about yourself. You love yourself and Try one of these four things that I've shared in this video. I'm chilling comfy in my checked in sweats because I'm always wearing checked in and I'm always checked in, never checked out. I'm gonna drop my code if you wanna look at their items and shop them and follow them. But other than that, girl, I hope this video has helped you. And if you found something really helpful for you or you wanna share this to your friends, please do it, girl. Like, subscribe to my channel and wait for the next video just so that I'm gonna drop as many gems as I can share with you to help you become the best highest queen version of yourself and catch me on instagram you already know the deal right here at the official fit queen such a pleasure i will see you soon bye bye